two-year-old girl piercing her neck. She's now recovering at Florida Hospital in Apopka. In Brevard County, two more incidents. Danielle Bellini reports in that county on a toddler's close call and how to protect yourself from aggressive dogs. James Denson is three years old and is probably already afraid of dogs. He has big blue eyes and scars from when a pit bull attacked him a few months ago. With that incident in the past, just yesterday on his walk to school, James came face to face with Tatter, the 70-pound pit bull, once again. This time, James's mother jumped in and almost lost her arm trying to protect her son. I felt like he was trying to rip my arm off because he bit it and he shook it, walked up and down in the road in front of me like it was stalking me, so I had to throw my shoes at it. The first attack was minor, according to Brevard County Animal Services, but this time, Tatter the pit bull will be put down. So while every dog is not aggressive, if you're walking down the street, you see a dog and you feel threatened, what can you do? We usually tell people to stand like a tree, so we usually um, have them stand in a pose like this, uh, where their hands can be uh, put away and, uh, and they can stand very still. If a dog knocks you over, it's really important to curl up into a little ball and cover your head and your neck really well. Orange County Animal Services advises against chaining up your dog, warning it only instigates the dog to become aggravated and attack. Definitely dogs that are chained up. You need to stay away from them. Danielle Bellini, WESH 2 News.